Dave in Jersey. What's up, Dave? Hey, Bill. I just wanted to say hi to uh, Bill and uh, say I saw his show in uh, Baltimore uh, about a month ago, and it was an awesome show. Yeah, you and 16 other people. Thanks for oh, showing up, man. It was, it was it was the show with those those idiot girls who were in the front row who were unwrapping their presents during the show. You had Are girls you kidding? unwrapping. What was it, like a party, a little shower oh, or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, the bachelorette party. Oh, you cunt. And they brought the presents to the comedy? And they were, like, literally... Pump. Having their party having while, their while little, I was on stage oh, in front of like your ass off. 20 people. <laughs> Can you Oh am- my god, man. Thank you. That was so sweet. I got oh. some lingerie oh. from Victoria's Secret. Where's Richard Speck when you need him? Oh. And it was oh, so, I like, can't totally... believe it. A dress. You got me a dress. I love a dress. <laughs> Where'd you get this dress? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was all those, you know, those little fancy bags, and there's like that fucking, uh, that paper, little paper coming out of it, the little green it. paper. Yeah. And so that's not too noisy, right? Oh, horrendous. Crinkle, 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 oh, crinkle. Phil's doing his act in front of this. Oh, it's t- you it's t- fucking t- bitches! <laughs> you guys don't you know get. Funny? That you don't get paid enough. So often, I, I can't even. Rem- I like. I vaguely remember that. You guys are just shit on that stage. You're trash to these people. They're going out for a night. They don't care what you're doing, what goals you have in life, your act that you work on to get up there and do. To them, you're just. Blah, blah, oh, and, and then when you snap on them, they they can't believe it. They're yeah. Like, well, we we, we paid to come in here. I can't, I can't. We weren't talking to him. The balls yeah, of you like, to you were talking. You're them. fucking interrupting the whole thing here. Holy shit. This is why I hate audiences. Because you come out to be entertained, and you never take any responsibility for the fact that you may not be entertained. Like, sometimes we suck. You know, as Billy will know, we're on there. Sometimes we're bad. But other times it's their fault. And that table of whores would never take responsibility for the fact that they probably didn't uh, uh, hear half his jokes. No. He'll yell at them and they'll go, well, you're not funny. That's why we're not laughing. It's like, no, you fucking holes. You're talking. They'll they go never home. Take responsibility. They will go home and say, you know, hey, oh, you went to the comedy club last night? How was it? Uh, not that funny. The hot, the hot girls are the worst because ah, no yeah. one has ever told them to shut the fuck up right. in their life. Right. Yeah. So it's just it's almost like guys' fault that they're like such cunts because no one has ever just stepped to them and been like. We you have know? to take responsibility yes. for their bitchiness. So when you, they had like this look, like they can't even believe it, then they try to get like support from other people around. Oh, and of course, believe every guy at the table supports them because right. they're still trying, trying to, to fuck stick them. it oh, in. Yeah. It's just terrible. Oh. Ugh. Guys, yeah, guys are the weasels. They, they really are disgusting. They just stick up for these broads. Hey, you know, she's a bitch. She's a lady. <laughs> I had one guy. I was, I was working on my, uh, I was working on a Tonight Show. I said I wasn't cursing, wasn't cursing. And this motherfucker from the side goes, Hey, I want you to tone it down. There are ladies here. Are you shitting me? And no. he was serious. Nathaniel saw it. Uh, Dan was at that show and he uh, was serious. Don't... Oh, he! I thought he was kidding at first. Was it 1930? Hey, dude, it's... tone it down, <laughs> hey! I got my dame with me. <laughs> These are fancy broads. And he was with his awful family, <laughs> and putting I... his coat over a mud puddle. <laughs> 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 In a f- shithole comedy club. <laughs> What an ass! And I think uh, when I realized he was serious, I, of course, I, then I cursed. You know, yeah, I know this lady's here. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck him. You know, just, <laughs> yeah. and then it got ugly. And uh, oh, I, I really wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to fucking take this guy and just poke my finger into his chest. Tone it down. Do you know where you are, you idiot? And I wasn't cursing. Yeah, I was doing the massage bit, which killed an NBC, by the way. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he was a little offended. He was, was offended because there are ladies here. There are ladies here. <sighs> Ugh. Literally it's trying amazing. to get some pussy, dude, by making at you your look expense. Like, yes, that phony that he, chivalry. Yes, exactly. Ugh. Hey, did you see how I took care of that guy? You girls, you know, yeah. I don't like that you're here in this. He was a little older too. He, was, he wasn't like a young. He wasn't like a young wise. There's nothing worse than one of those fucking wise guys tries to act like I'm a gentleman. Hey, there's a lady here. Oh, sorry, we, we, you weren't extorting somebody at the moment, shithead. A lady here, and then they get out. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing, yeah. you cunt? You almost scratched yeah. my fucking car. <laughs> and they get in a car, Marie. Get in the fucking car! <laughs> That's the same lady he was yeah. you know, telling you and to be nice and breaks a floor. bottle over the bridge of your yeah. nose. <laughs> yeah. You looking at him? You were look. At, you were looking at a fucking nigger, weren't you? You motherfucker! You. She's a lady. Don't talk to her like that. How many times did I say that word today? I don't know. We're all yeah, uncomfortable. You're saying it a lot today for some I'm reason. I'm just throwing what it in. To you on the I'm way trying to, to desensitize it. All right. Like Lisa Lampanelli. They say she's out there. <laughs> Okay, we should oh, anytime play. you do anything remotely racial on stage, whoever's uh, doing like the uh, review, review of your show, they always go, they always bring up Lenny Bruce. Really? He's the next Lenny Bruce. The oh, next yeah. Lenny Bruce. Yeah, 40 years later, just carrying that fucking torch on. 
It's like, dude, you can put the, you can put, get on the internet and watch somebody blow a horse within <laughs> fucking three seconds. You're not shocking anybody. <laughs> you sure can get on the yeah. internet and see that. Uh, however, I'd like a <laughs> <If you're> link. <laughs> <laughs> but Lenny did it in the '60s, and and it was it was real when he did it. I mean, he was, was like, real. yes, he got arrested. If you're on stage doing like poopy jokes, though, you're not really shocking people in this day and age. Yeah. Lenny was trying to desensitize. He said that, you know, this is just words. I'm trying to take this thing out of them. And he meant it. It was a sincere yeah. thing in 1958 and 60. Right. When you see comics doing it today, they're trying to be and stealing just what he said. I've seen people, I'm not going to mention any females' names, but I've seen people kind of stealing <laughs> the same tone and the same speech about how this is what I'm trying. That's not what you're trying to do. Right. You're just giving an excuse for, for stolen jokes. You're trying to get away with it, and mm -hmm. that's your asterisk. You see, I'm just trying to, you know, you know, you know what I mean? It's like you see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's shit. nothing worse than the uh, the dangerous comic. They always have, like, the fucking <laughs> the three-quarter leather. It's like July, and they got a cigarette. <laughs> the dangerous Oh, comic. it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. the fucking worst. Wow. And it's all black guys have big dick jokes and Chinese people can't drive. There's uh, no insight to any of the only you know who does And Rachel's then you tag every joke. What I said it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said it <laughs> Yeah, it's like yeah, dude, we heard you. <laughs> nobody nobody is shocked. <laughs> It's just fucking horrendous. It's like, stop oh. it. All the old staple hack, like, supposed oh, yeah. to be these scary bits. They, oh, is that funny? I would love to listen to the fantasy in their head of, of like, like the, the their Oprah interview. He just really changed the whole way that people look at things. It's just, you just were so groundbreaking and shut up, you fucking Well, idiot. you know, I figured someone had to do it. It's time. Uh, oh, you know what I love? I love also when like somebody just does does a joke and it's just like it's more like disgusting, and then people are like ah, oh, and they're like oh fucking politically correct, like screaming <laughs> at the crowd. It's like oh man, that was just disgusting. <laughs> You're just a fucking idiot. This is like every middle act that I work with now. I can't even fucking. Uh, I can't even deal with it. And they always come up, dude. You mind? You mind if I sell my CD after the show? Oh, it's like how do you have a CD? You're doing, what, do you tape your act twice? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about uh, more of the staples in comedy. Oh, like my, the dangerous comedy no, is you, hilarious. You, you there's, there's more out there, too. You know what's oh, another good one? I, you, you ever, have you ever worked with somebody who they just blatantly just stole somebody's, like, catchphrase and put it on something? I worked with this guy. He goes, uh, in the middle of his act, he goes, you know, guys, he goes, I have this saying that I like to live by. He goes, free your mind. And your ass will follow. That was wasn't that like funkadelic or yeah? Problem? What is that? Something like that, right? And he he like in literally vogue, I think. <laughs> he literally put it on a bumper sticker and is selling this shit. Get out of here! At the end, and people are lining up to buy it. Stop it! That did not happen. I have a saying: Have it your way. <laughs> at Burger King, <laughs> you got it on like a T-shirt. You can buy that after the show. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the dangerous comic. That is horrid. That's hilarious. Oh, the da yeah, the dangerous comic. That's uh. That is really funny. You know, like someone who does to me, like what is? If you're gonna do racial material, if it's insightful, mm -hmm. like Colin does. I mean, racial material. that's not hack. He talks about behaviors that are real. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying he's always right, but he's at least taking a chance on what he says. He's not a fucking a, a predictable hack at all. But guys are just doing the big dick to Chinese. It's like you. Yeah, he doesn't tag shoot. his jokes with like "Relax, America." Yeah. Re oh. I, Come I, I, on now. Or loosen up, folks. Oh. <laughs> this is my act. Loosen up. By the oh way, my God. <laughs> thanks to Eric, free your mind and your ass will follow. Goes way back to the year 1971. 71. Uh, who was it? It was a album by, yes, uh, Funkadelic. Oh, very good. Good call, uh, Billy. Very good. Good call, Billy. And, and good find, Hawk.